Congratulations on the series. Thank I love you. talking to people who are just about to launch a big show and see how their lives are going to change afterwards. So are you ready for it? You know the fandom that Game of Thrones has. So are you ready? You're scaring me. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great in such a good way, though, in, in the best way. I think we're still incredibly naive about <laughs> it all and just... Yeah, the key word's denial. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah living under rock. Does that <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> um, what you don't know can't hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's very hard, isn't it? Because A, well, we've only seen the first episode, so we haven't seen the whole series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to know. We're excited. It's very hard to know what will happen, I yeah. suppose. We might not and be in it. We might not be in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> That'd be the biggest surprise of all. Yeah. yeah. We're not in one. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Beyond that, I couldn't tell you. That's the only <laughs> episode that I've gotten to see. But right. already I know it's going to be a monster just like Game of Thrones was. So, tell me about each of your characters. Um, I know we only have five minutes, but like in the easiest context possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Br briefly, um, I play Alison, Lady Alison Hightower. Um, best mates to Rhaenyra Targaryen, uh, the the realm's delight, uh, the princess, and my um, my father is um, the hand to the king, and quickly realise that I am a pawn in his political mm. agenda. Rhaenyra is uh, yeah eldest child to King Viserys Targaryen. Um, she doesn't expect to inherit any power. She's born a girl. Um, was the pity and. Um, uh, you know, women in this context live in a really re restrictive environment, mm. and she is born knowing that her father needs a male heir, and that mm. she is not that male heir. Um, and so she's a person who feels a bit like an outsider within her own family, and certainly within the court. Um, Alison, I think, who does is a does a better job of navigating that environment, is at least early on a sort of uh, like interpreter or a translator mm. yeah. um, for someone who's really bad at it. Um, and I think broadly, Rhaenyra is a person trying to find a way to live authentically. Does she even want the throne? No comment. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> she just wants to go out there and almost be a knight, right? She just like wants to, wants to be in combat, like in the thick of things. I mean, I think fundamentally what she wants is agency. Mm -hmm. She's a person, like, she's a person who receives power and has no agency. And so, like, she's someone who's reaching out for uh, actually, a, a, like, a masculine freedom wherever it's available because she sees, for example, her uncle, Damon, they're very alike, and yet the rules are applied completely differently. Right. And he has the freedom to access everything she craves, and she is always looking to push at the edges of womanhood, mm -hmm. of the space afforded her. Um, yeah, and, and, and eventually she starts sort of carving out a new, a new space um, yeah. to occupy. Yeah, I mean, while we're talking about gender roles, first non-binary, I believe, person cast in the Game of Thrones franchise. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, it's good. What yeah? a privilege. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, look, what's been really beautiful is, uh, so like, both of us started speaking to Miguel Sapochnik, who's one mm -hmm. of the co-showrunners, really early, and he made it really clear that all of me got invited. Just like I, honestly, I haven't been out at work before, and um, broadly speaking, uh, that stuff that gets left at the door, and that wasn't the case here. Mm -hmm. uh, everything got invited, and you know, broadly, it doesn't matter, like it's of no consequence, but yeah. uh, it has been really nice to play a character who feels at odds often with the way that they are read by the world. Um, and I, I do feel that that's something that I am like deeply interested in and have some experience in. So it's, you know, that's been an interesting uh, part yeah. of this whole process. Absolutely. Okay, so Game of Thrones is known for killing off characters that we love, main mm. characters. So can we get used to you guys or, <laughs> or what? Who do we call about that? I know, I know, we need to really be. <laughs> do you even know? When you, when you read the scripts, do you even know what happens? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we do. Oh, yeah. We do know. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know and in, we know, yeah. Yeah, we know in this one what yeah, happens. Yeah, we know in this one. You know, beyond anything else, who mm -hmm. knows with any of us, you know, depends if we behave or not. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.